Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith. I'm a product manager here on the database team and I'm going to talk to you about Oracle REST Data Services or ORDS. My contact info is on the screen. Without further ado, let's jump in. ORDS started out as just a web listener for the database and for PLSQL um, APIs. So if you had a procedure or a function that when invoked would result in HTML being um, printed, you know, sent it as, a, as an out or a return, ORDS would take that HTML and bring it back down to your client. And it also allowed you to call those programs via HTTP. So ORDS has evolved to be much more than just a um, web gateway for your PL SQL. We now allow you to host full RESTful web services for your Oracle database. And I'll talk about that more in a second. But basically, if you want to get post, put, or delete, things in and out of your database, um, ORDS makes that possible. We now also have a SQL Developer web interface delivered via ORDS, so if you want to query your database, manage your database, tune your database, you can do all of that via your browser, and that's all delivered via ORDS. ORDS also allows you to publish um, a management API for the database itself, so not for your tables and not for your SQL and PL SQL, but APIs that help you take care of the database itself. And then finally, we provide SOTA for REST. So if you want a REST API for managing your, your documents and your collections in the Oracle database, ORDS makes that also possible. Now, if you want to learn more about any of these features in more detail, just go to our web page, and we made it as simple as possible. You just go to oracle.com slash rest. On the web listener, um, that's most likely going to be surfaced if you're an Application Express or Oracle Apex customer. Um, you should also know that ModPL SQL has been officially deprecated and desupported. And going forward, if you want to um, have a supported infrastructure for running web applications out of the database that needs to be done via ORDS. For the RESTful web services, you can take a table or um, an existing stored procedure and say, hey, I want there to be a set of uh, HTTP endpoints that can be called to interact and access these objects. We call that the auto feature. So very, very low code. It's just one PL SQL API call to enable um, those features, or you can remain in complete control and publish your own RESTful web services that are built on your PL SQL and your SQL. The responses um, that ORDS provides take care of things um, like paging um, results, so you don't overwhelm your web client with a million rows. Instead, you get page one, page two, page three. Uh, we automatically take the output of your queries and your store procedures and wrap them in an as uh, JSON documents, and we provide proper HTTP responses. So you get the right status codes, you get all the links you would expect. These services are defined in a schema in the database. So what these services can do are controlled by the security and resource definitions that you have applied on these schemas. So you can't publish a REST API that can drop the database if that user, that schema does not have that ability to do that. Building your RESTful web services, you can do that via um, classic interfaces like SQL Developer on your desktop or, or Bash via our command line interface like SQL CL. Uh, you can use the PL SQL API, and now we also have a full REST development interface in both Application Express and SQL Developer web. Um, ORDS is a core feature of Oracle Autonomous, so any autonomous a database that spins up is going to have ORDS there, it's going to make SQL Developer Web available, it's going to make Application Express available, and it's going to allow you to publish RESTful web services for um, your autonomous um, instances. But you can also run ORDS anywhere you'd like for any Oracle database on-prem or in OCI. Here's just an example of a RESTful web service. You know, instead of saying select star from employees or department ID equals 50, I can just do a git on HR slash employees slash query parameter department ID 50 and ORDS automatically takes that, wraps that to the proper SQL statement, gets the results, puts it back down to the client as JSON and has it paged for you. And we also provide links to each of the individual records. So if you're building a web application on top of this table, um, your fancy um, user interface can just take advantage of these existing endpoints um, and navigation is made easy with all of the links. 
These are of course secured, so um, you can't just um, give these links to anyone and they can start using them. They're going to have to be um, authenticated and authorized. So the endpoints are secured with privileges, and if you don't have the right role, then you don't get to touch these things and your data remains safe. In addition to RESTful Web Services, uh, you can use ORDS to publish SQL Developer Web, which is a single page app for accessing and managing your Oracle database. So you get a SQL um, worksheet for running queries. You get um, management and monitoring screens, including um, Performance Hub. Um, you get the REST development interface. You get an interface for working with your JSON document store. You can manage your Oracle users, and you can do uh, data modeling and generate rich relational diagrams and data dictionary reports. For the database management REST APIs, so this is for managing and monitoring your database itself. There are over 500 endpoints that make um, different APIs and different data dictionary views um, available for you via HTTPS. So here's an example of me kicking off a data pump export job by just doing a simple post to the appropriate endpoint and passing the data pump parameters via the HTTP post um, body, and in this case as a JSON document. SOTA for REST, so if you want to treat your Oracle database as a JSON document store um, and you want a REST API to manage those documents and those collections, ORDS provides that out of the box. Um, this is also there for the new autonomous um, uh, JSON document service, and you can do posts and gets and puts and deletes just like you would um, if you're using something else like Mongo. And, you know, so if I want to create a collection, if I want to do uh, a bulk document array insert, I can do those via REST calls. And I can also uh, run queries using the, the query by example um, syntax. So all of this is um, included with your Oracle database license, even if it's a free database. Um, or it supports both our classic architecture, so single instance, single database, and also our multi-tenant um, architecture. So if you have a container with 200 pluggable databases, you can um, install ORDS once and have it available for all of those PDBs. So ORDS is developed and maintained by the database team for the database team. So as new database features come in, um, we're there to build up the APIs and tooling around those. Um, ORDS, like, like many of the other database tools products, we had to do quarterly releases. So every three months you should see an update for both cloud and on-prem. Just really quickly, ORDS is a Java application. You can deploy it as a standalone um, process. It includes an embedded Jetty web server, or if you'd like, you can roll it into an existing Tomcat or WebLogic uh, mid-tier. Each database connection pool um, serves a, a database. So you could have one ORD supporting um, 50 databases, in which case there'd be 50 um, JDBC connection pools in there, one for each. They each get their own mapping pattern, so the URIs that you would see in the requests that go tell ORDs which database that request goes to. Um, you can also, you know, have one ORDs for each database if you'd like. It's, it's really up to you. If you want to see how to install, configure, and build your first RESTful web service, I have another video um, that you can find that takes you through all of that. It's only about 15 minutes. And if you have more questions or if you want to find more information, all you have to do is Google it. And you know what? Our friend um, Oracle Base has tons and tons of articles and videos as well that cover ORDs. Um, so I know I went a little bit over five minutes. Thanks for indulging me. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. And thanks again to Mike and the team for letting me talk to you today. Cheers.